Hello, family and friends. Welcome in to your spiritual nourishment. I am your shaman empress. All right, guys. And these are going to be your love messages from your divine masculine. Welcome in divine feminines. Welcome in queens. So this is where we're going to stop and take a look at your love life. All right. Um, we're going to see what the divine masculine wants to say to you. What your divine masculine wants to say to you. Um, and see how he's feeling. What's been going on. And all those kind of things. Whether you are in separation or not. All right. Singles and couples go through things in love. So this is going to be take it how it resonates. All right. You know what it's for you guys. And you know what it's for not for you. Period. All right, guys. Um, so it's like take it how it resonates. Okay, guys. Never force it to fit what is not for you, honey. It's just not you know when it is. Okay. Keep in mind, I will be calling all the signs or energy I see. It could be the sign or the energy that that person is in. All right, okay, guys. So that's how it's going to work. If you need me for anything more personal than that, for a personal reading, everything you need to know is in the description box below. Spiritual nourishment at AOL.com. Now, intuitively, I'm automatically picking up. Someone is scared to speak up. This person could be scared to say something to you. All right, um, I'm, I'm here in separation. So a lot of you guys could be in separation or separate from your person or there is some kind of separation between you and your person right now. We're going to start off with a goddess message, okay, for my beautiful queens and see what messages that come out for you. Goddess Oracle message for you guys, all right, from the goddess deck, so... Which to me right now is so appropriate. All right. So let's jump into this. Almighty, beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. When it comes to the divine feminine, what messages do you have for them? Messages from the divine feminine. Hold on, guys. All right. Messages from the divine feminine, please. All right. Let's see. Messages for the divine feminine for the collective. For the collective. Ooh. All right. Focus. Focus wanted to pop out. Ooh. Happy birthday. Someone here could have just celebrated a birthday. Are we still in Capricorn season? I believe that we are. Oh, that was a lot, guys. So I'm just going to take that one. That poked out and this came out. So we'll roll like that. Bottom of the deck, creative luck. Oh, I like it. So we have e, um, Eos Light and Ran Focus. Yeah, someone here is definitely celebrated or um, could be celebrating a birthday. I'm picking up water and fire energy here. So your person could be a fire sign or have a fire placement or a water sign or a water placement. Okay. Someone here could be um, middle age, uh, 30s, 40s, uh, maybe even 50s as well. Someone here also likes a lot of, um, you could be into pearls and things of that nature. Okay. I'm here in water, which means that someone here um, may know how to read water. If you're a reader, if you're a spiritualist, that, that definitely could be one of your gifts. Okay. Um, here, we're all spiritual beings having a human experience. Okay, guys, whether you choose to use your spiritual gifts or not, you could have come from a history of women who have these gifts. Also, there's a light worker here. Mm-hmm, an earth angel. Okay, all right. Let's read this one, because that one, like, popped right out the deck. So, lights, yeah. Someone here is an earth angel, a light worker. Period. You come from a line of royalty. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. So we have lights. Let's see. Let's see. Um, this is a Greek goddess. All right. Eos. I could be saying that wrong. Lights. 
You may be feeling lost or aimless lately. And winged goddess of light is here to show you the way with her torch. Like ushering in the dawn, a light will appear soon to show you the way out of your situation or clarity, how you've been feeling and why. Follow the intuitive pings. Yeah, didn't I just say that? There's some kind of separation spirit. I was hearing that was, was basically telling me separation. And this also could be you in a relationship with someone who... um. And still, you know, you guys go through the ups and downs. Okay, so this could be some, a moment for you to just, you know, go ahead and, you know, soak that in. Because that was just like confirmation on what I just said to so you guys. Also, um, focus. Focus on the signs. And that's kind of what came out here. Time for you to focus on the signs because the goddesses are here bringing you light, shining light, all right, on the situation and what you need to know, all right, period. So that's good energy to me. I like it and I love it. So let's go ahead and jump in. We are going to do things a little bit different today than I usually do when I do messages from the divine masculine. All right. Or messages from each other, from both of you guys. All right. This is going to be a little different today to switch up the energies and see what we need to know. All right. Almighty beautiful universe of Holy Spirit. When it comes to, ooh, all right, that's overall energy. I haven't told anyone how I feel about you. And this came out in reverse, so he haven't even told you how he felt about you, child. But this person does have feelings for you. I do see a strong connection here, all right? And this person has a water placement here. They, they have strong emotion for you. All right. If you have a fire placement here, this person can put out your fire. Like y'all's connection is very strong. You feel like no one can do it for you like your person. We are in the year six. The year six represents the year of love. All right. Almighty beautiful universe and Holy Spirits when it comes to messages for the divine feminine from their divine masculine for the collective. Can you give me some messages, please? All right, messages, messages, messages. All right, guys, I'm hearing cut the deck one time. I could never resist you. I need you in my life again. Like I said, separation. Thank you, spirit. Some, some of you guys are in literal separation as well. All right, I could never resist you, okay? Now, will we be together again? On the bottom of the deck as well. Yes, for some of you guys, you're you're definitely in separation from your person. This could also be soulmate twin flame energy I'm picking up on here. All right, so this is going to be you, and this is going to be your person, and I'll explain the rest as we go around. All right, guys, so let's just do it like this today. All right, you remind me of a true who I truly am. Yes, this is definitely. I'm just I'm here in twin flame soulmate literally now. So this is your um significant other, your counterpart on a spiritual level. Spiritual wife, spiritual husband. All right. So this is your energy. All right. Let's look at your person's energy. I mean, that's what I just got. You are like an angel. Okay. So yeah. All right, let's see what else. I am struggling and working to change this. This is the foundation of the relationship, of the connection for both of you guys. So your person is working to change this right now. All right, I feel like this person wants to come back in separation. Back in separation. This person wants to come out of separation with you. All right, so some of you guys could have or um, are, are back in separation for a second time as well. That could be um, uh, something that's going on between you guys. This for your person, I feel like this is neutral, yeah, because this is the foundation. So this is neutral between both of you guys. All right, let's look at the current communication. I'm so confused on why this is like it is now. I am so confused why it is like this now, okay? All right, so both of you guys are confused. All right. This is definitely twin flames. Like I said, we're in a year, six year of love. This also could be a soulmate. All right. This person wants you back. Wants you back bad. 
Okay, I feel like it's both of you guys. So this is your goals together. I have cried over losing you. So both of you guys have been crying. Don't be making me cry on here, Divine Feminine. All right? Now, y'all know I'm an empath. I'm an empath. I can't help it. My ass will bust out into tears, child. All right? I ain't trying to do that right now. Okay, cut me some slack now. I'm getting emotional. I'm like, ooh, I'm trying to keep it down. Someone here has been crying. So I'm not surprised that this card came out. This is your blockages. I wish I could turn back time. Yep, because you guys are in separation. I feel like both of you feel like this because I feel like there's a somebody wants to be honest with the other person, okay? Honesty is the key and should set you free, okay? All right. This is um, how your person is seeing their self in this relationship. I know it wasn't meant to be like this. So your person is very aware that it was not meant to be like this. Yeah. Yeah, that's what are struggling to change this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Period. Hmm. Let's see what else is going on. This is how you see yourself in this relationship. I'm so lonely without you. So, I, Like I said, somebody, y'all are missing each other. Please stop. I'm really trying to control my emotions right now, child. You guys are missing and you love each other. I think this is dope. This is so beautiful. Um, This is twin, tw okay. So twin flames and soulmates, thank you, spirit. Do go through a time of separation and it does bring you guys um back together, okay? So, yeah, you know, um, this person is coming back to you, all right? Um, they're struggling, both of you guys. I feel like one is calling one, and there's a chaser and runner kind of energy in Twin Flame, especially. So I feel like one is calling the other one. You can feel this because your souls are connected, all right? Now, when it comes to soulmate Twin Flames, when it comes to Twin Flame especially, um, you are married souls. You're born under the same energies. Okay. So you mirror each other. This could be your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. It's not always your sun sign. Both of you guys can have the same, um, you know, rising sign, moon sign. Okay. Something like that. So that's why it's important to do your research. Okay. Um, when it comes to that, I know your placements. Okay. And maybe even your person's placements. All right. Um, so you, you know, but you will feel it and you will know it on a spiritual level for many different reasons. Um, I don't want to spend too many time, too much time on this video because I do talk. It takes a lot for me to explain things sometimes. And I'm going to have to open up a video to break that down for y'all, you know, in a more specific term. But yeah, let's go wrong. I'm having, so, I'm really struggling communicating on this video. This person is struggling. I believe this is your masculine. They are struggling. And you know why they're struggling because they really want this to work. And this is the this is the issue that needs to be worked on. They really, really want this to work. They want their twin. That's what I'm hearing. All right. And this is I'm trying to move on and it's painful. I feel like this person is trying to move on from the separation. I really do. We're gonna clarify that, by the way. I do like. I'm getting mixed vibes from this card. I feel like this person, um, you know, like I said, you could be in a separation period. Just like there is a runner and chaser. So maybe this person chose to or decided to uh, move on and choose to go on for a lot of you guys. And for some of you guys, um, this person could be trying to just move on from the separation because they want to come back. And, and it's, it's clear as day. This person is crying. They haven't told you how they feel about you. This person never could resist you on the overall energy. They want to turn back the hand, hands of time. They do want to change this. Okay. And this person is crying. All right. So let's get some clarification on what is going on between you and your, your person. As I split open a deck, child. <laughs> somebody want to play with it, honey. They want to play with it. Somebody wants to touch it. Touch it strong. This person wants to come back together. Three, honey, king of cups. They're, they love you. Someone here like seafood. I'm seeing like crabs and lobsters and shit like that. Maybe this person wants, um, you know, to have dinner with you, take you to a dinner. Maybe the last time you guys 
were together, you could have talked about something like that. Or maybe this is something you want to do for this person. Maybe you like to cook for this person. Someone here could just like seafood. That is poking out to me. I keep this person. <laughs> yeah, that card just came right back out. I just saw it. Somebody here, went, honey, they want to play in it. They want to touch it. This person wants to touch you. Not just in the inside, but the outside. Mm, child, what's going on? What is going on? <laughs> Oh, so this wanted to come out. So we got the King of Wands. What did I say? Aries, Leo, Sage, and the Three of Wands, Aries. Somebody here is dealing with the Aries or have a strong Aries placement. Y'all, y'all, y'all. This person misses you. Look how they go from clothes to unclothed. Somebody's going to rip your goddamn clothes off. This person wants to rip your clothes off. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Honey, they do. Yeah. This person wants to control you, Nine of Pentacles, because they want to get lost with you. Five of Cups, they're set without you. They do. They want to get lost with you. Okay. What the hell? We have Justice and a Hermit. This person is not telling you. They're keeping this to themselves. I'm having so many issues. This person is... Child having a lot of issues. What the hell is going on? They are. Okay. And they're keeping this from you. This person is not telling you this. All right. So let me see. Five of Cups came back out. Yeah, this person is definitely sad. Okay. Scorpio energy there. Because you're their empress. What I tell you. This person recognizes who you are. And they want justice back. I feel like this person is waiting on a better time. So this person over time could want to come back in to make things right with you. All right. To invest in this connection. So this is a past life connection. Period. Yeah. All right. Let's see. I'm going to clarify this spirit. Why is that here for the collective? Ooh. Yeah. The hermit, yeah. This person is not telling you. So this person also could have, yeah, they did. They could have tried to like um, pull away from you before, walk away from you before, or try to ignore this connection. And it's the connection's too strong. They can't do it. <laughs> they just can't do it. All right, you remind me of who I truly am. Boom. Let's see. And we have the high priestess in reverse. Okay, so again. All right. You, you could be very spiritual and this person could be more like religious and traditional. Maybe that this person um, isn't used to spirituality or one could be more traditional like in um, religious and the other one could be more spiritual. So they might not understand your spirituality. That also could be intimidating to this person. OK. Also, someone here could be learning about spirituality or you could have turned them into some kind of spirituality and they're trying to understand like to meet you where you're at is what i'm hearing yeah period bottom of the deck the eight of swords yeah they are this 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 is scary this is scary to this person but they want to talk to you all right if you are a spiritualist or if you believe in spirituality okay let's see what else came out here and we have the night of wands in reverse. Okay, so like I said, yeah, they did. They tried to move on. Somebody, somebody, you could have been dealing with a player from the Himalayas, child. This person is used to what they used to. This is also someone who is used to getting their way. And then they met you and the shit changed. All right, you might have opened up your, um, you might have touched them in a way they haven't been touched before. This could have been something that needed to be happened to open up this person's eyes. All right. Also, I'm seeing that this person is sad in the thought thinking. They might have thought you moved on. So they were trying to move on. Is also what I'm picking up here. Yeah. And it worries this person. Yeah, that you could be talking to someone else. Also, this person definitely wants some kind of control over you, period. I feel like when this person come back or when they will. Okay, I said will. So when they will come back, they want control over this relationship spirit. Why is this in reverse? Or are they going to make sure your ass don't go nowhere, child? Yep, strength card. I can't make this shit up. Boom. Yeah. They're going to put their foot down. I feel like this person is also going to tell you what they want. This is the type of person that's going to lay it on the table. Right? Because, like I said, you can't. <laughs> it's right here. I can't make this shit up. Look. 
you, you, you tame the wild side of them, the wild bull in them. And if you are a twin or a soulmate, that would make, would make a lot of sense here. And we have the chariot and we have the five of cups. Yeah. This person is sad right now that they aren't moving towards you. I feel like this person is nervous. And if you are a spiritualist and a reader, that could be something that makes them nervous because you can't see right through them. Right. And it came out. You remind me of who I truly am. Okay. Why does this have priests in reverse? Ooh, child. All right. Okay. So, again, this person, I feel like I'm going to tell you what I'm getting here. Yeah, two of cups. This person could have, offered, like I said, somebody here was dealing with a player from the Himalayas, later shall. You know, here on Spiritual Nourishment. We gonna laugh, 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 love, and cry together, honey, because we do love the Lord. But this person is a whore, could have been a whore in the past shit. Yeah, I don't know your life. I'm here to get a message. Don't judge me, y'all. I'm just telling you what they telling me to tell you, okay? Or someone here could have already had a connection with someone else. I do believe that this person that they're connected to, I don't feel like, with the high preachers in reverse, yeah, Ten of Pentacles, they could live in a home with this person. This is a very nasty person. Yeah. So they're not even happy in their relationship. Okay, this person could have stayed for money. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. They could also have like a business together or some kind of stability together. And it might have been easier to stay than it go. Believe it or not, men do think like that. Women don't. Shit, nothing is worth my peace. I'm not, I, if I'm not peaceful in what I'm doing, it's it, I, like money don't buy happiness. Let's just like clear that up here. But yeah, this, this person definitely wants to come back towards you. Okay. Let's clarify. I really want this to work out. Let's see. Why is that here, Spirit? Thank you. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they do. They want to come back together. All right. Um. Yeah. Yep. Six of Cups. They do. This is definitely someone from your past. This is also past life relationship as well. Okay. Yeah. Now, the Six of Swords is someone that's coming towards you. All right. Got it towards you. Now, that's air energy. So, there's just, like I said, Ten of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. All right. You're the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is the sexiest witch, one of the sexiest witches in a deck. And she is very spiritual. She is also the witchiest witch in a deck. Aries. Pisces energy. Now the six, the ones is air, intellect, thought. And a lot of people say when they see the six of swords, I mean the six of swords, excuse me, um, that this person is coming towards you, but they're guided towards you. So this person is thinking of coming towards you, not necessarily making that move. That's why the ten of swords is here. Okay. I just want to clear that up. I can't speak for every reader. All right. I'm just speaking from how, you know, from what I know and my experience, we are all different, but the Ten of Swords and the Six of Swords. So this person isn't making a move because they're thinking about making a move. Also, this person could be thinking about how to make a move, all right, towards you, all right? Okay, I know I know it wasn't like to be like this. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. They see you as a Queen of Cups. Yeah, the Three of Swords. I feel like in the Four of Wands, like, what did that say? My Twin Flame card. I can't make this up. Twin Flame Soulmate card. Also... This person know they broke your heart. Yeah, they did. They know they did. Okay, they know they know they broke your heart. Or they left you heartbroken. And I feel like this also hurts this person, especially if they're a twin, because they can feel your pain, just like you can feel them. But we have the magician here, so they want to manifest you back in. All right. All right, let's see. Oh, and we have the high priestess here. I feel like you feel this intuitively and you can feel this person's energy intuitively. Yes, the six of ones. I feel like you know that, that this person kind of wants to talk to you. Now, the separation I'm getting from this energy is this is someone that you could be literally separated from or you guys are going through some kind of distance separation in your connection at this time. All right. Now, we're always, the truth is we're always connected. Okay, so even if you guys are in some kind of separation period, you can still feel this person's energy. And they can still feel you energy. Even if you don't understand the words, you'll always understand the energy. Okay? All right. So let's clarify. I have cried over losing you. Let's see. Okay. I have cried over losing you. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, they have. This person has been dreaming of you. Also, you could be seeing this in a dream state. Like, you could be having <laughs> dreams of this person, sexual dreams of this person. 
At night, you can feel a strong, energetic connection to this person. This person is sending you um, sexual energy. Now, I'm going to say this because it's here and I have to do my damn job. Ciao. If there is like you, if you're getting like a strong sexual energy at night, this could be even masturbation. This person is sending you that energy. So you're feeling it. Also, I just want to tell you, if they're looking at your pictures and doing this, that is a form of sex magic. Now, the magician is alchemy. He popped out a couple times, right? Alchemy is anything that you're putting out in the universe that you can manifest. That's why there's levels to spell work. When we talk about spell work, I always say this. I'm going to say this shit to your ears, bleed. It's not all about candles and, and chanting and running around the living room acting crazy. No. Um... Like, for example, like I always say, when you are writing something or spelling something out, texting, you're putting it out in the universe to manifest spelling. Spell is in the word. That's why you shouldn't cuss at people. When you're cursing at someone, you're cursing at them. Curses and cursing is in the word, literally. You're putting that in the universe, okay? Karma's real, honey, all right? Um, if you're feeling that, this person is still in a lot of sexual energy with you. And at you. And like I said, we're always connected. So if this is like a twin flame soulmate energy, you're feeling it. Especially at night. You could be thinking like, why am I always thinking of this person at night? Or why am I dreaming of them? Because they're dreaming of you. Yes, honey. Seven of cups in reverse. I, I can't make this. I don't even need the damn cards. I don't even know why I have them. I could just tell y'all y'all story, child. I'm telling you. This person is having fantasies about you. And this person fantasizes about you a lot. All right, um, period. So let's see. And we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, because you're not talking. This person is manifesting you back in secretly. They could be planning to come towards you. Yes, they are. Wow, Divine Feminine. I mean, you're a Divine Feminine. So, you know, that makes a lot of sense. All right, boom. This is clear as day. This person wants to come back and I feel like they're working on that. I do. However, they're not making any moves. I feel like this is all in the plan. And wait a minute. Let's clarify this stuff in the cups in reverse. For the collective. Thank you, Spirit. Yes, I t I'm fucking done. I told you. The nine of cups. Pisces energy. Yeah. They want, this is the higher font. They want to, they want to honor this spiritual connection between both of you. This is, this is twin flame. Yeah, two of pentacles. Are, yet I tell you, they're juggling back and forth on the eight of cups. How to work how to come back toward you. Someone here can have a lot of tattoos I'm picking up as well. You or your person. All right. Arm tattoo, body tattoo. But they see you as a star. Also, this is a star seed. All right. Healing energy. Yeah. And they want to hold on to this. And I'm seeing the fool. I'm also hearing this person feels like a fool. Yeah. Because the way they treated you. Judgments here. All right. Boom. Can't make it up. honey. All right. Now. We're going to pull from my Rebellious deck. I really like this deck. It's dope. It's raw. All right. So some of the messages in here is strong. It's not sugar-coated, guys. Um, so we're going to pull from that just to get a couple messages from Spirit. And we'll get an outcome in the timing for you guys as well. All right. So let's go ahead and see. All right. Almighty, beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. Can you give us a message for the collective, for the Divine Feminine, on what you would like them to know? Messages for the Divine Feminine, please. What messages would you like them to know? Yeah, because sometimes, you know, the ancestors and spirit, they want to keep it raw with y'all too. You know, it ain't always, you know, strawberries and cream and, and sprinkles because the ancestors will cuss your ass out and they will beat your ass too. I just want to let you know that. <laughs> All right. So let's see what's going on. What would you like to devour? Ooh, child. All right. Boom. Have you eaten? You are acting like a big ass baby. <laughs> you need food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. Ooh, child. All right. Now, I just had some taco bowls last night, honey. It was good. I, I encourage you make you one too. All right. Bottom of the deck, you are being shady. Watch out. Shit could get ugly. All right, guys. So maybe you guys are need to eat. Maybe you're a little cranky. Maybe your um, appetite has changed a little bit, especially if you're having a spiritual ascension. Um, that tapping is actually normal. It's actually also challenging. I'm just telling you from experience. So that could be something. 
put the fucking phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. So some of your asses need to get off Facebook, Instagram, whatever else you got going on. And maybe you really do need to talk to um, someone. It could be friends or family. Now I'm going to say this. Be careful because all friends and family don't have your best interests at heart. Especially, you know, when it comes to a friendship. It's not, don't put everybody in your business and everybody what's going on. Someone you could trust. This could be maybe an older person or something like that. I don't suggest you just that from my personal experience and a lot others. When it comes to especially your friends, you got to be careful with shit like that. Oh, there we go. We'll leave it there. Okay. So we have... You, what did I say? Oh my God. I tell... I don't need the cards. Eat your fucking vegetables. Eat some shit made by Mother Nature. Period. I feel like this is going to help you feel better. Also, food does... Food is energy. So, you know... If you're always eating like bad sluggish foods and stuff, it can keep you and put you in a low vibration. So maybe you guys try to eat something low uplifting shit. Spirit said eat your tacos. Tacos got shit in it like tomatoes and lettuce and, you know, it's a little bit more healthy side of it, all right? So maybe, you know, eat something that's going to uplift you, make you feel a little better, maybe even change your mood. Some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. Can't make it up. Stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. All right, guys? So stop being argumentative. Stop over-talking. I feel like if this person wants to come back in, it's okay to have, especially if this is a twin flame um, soulmate connection. I really feel as though I'm reaching out a lot to the twins. It's okay to sit down and listen to your person. Maybe it's time to just shut up and listen to what they have to say. Their point of view, too, okay? Because they're affected here as well. Their affection might be different than yours. Also, someone here needs to look up the different love languages I just heard. So your love language could be different from your person's and maybe that is a separation. Maybe you don't understand the way they express affection. Maybe they don't understand the way you uh, express affection. Alright? So that could be it. So let's pull some more timing. We're going to use my dice to try to go ahead and pull some timing on when this could be coming together. Oh, Shay. We have an Aries we have an Aries here. So your person could be a fire sign or have any of the Aries placements, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And what did I say? Oh, my God. We have Uranus. Uranus is spirituality. It's that spirituality energy. It is about you. Um, yeah, this person is dreaming of you at nine. Okay, so this is almost a completed cycle. I feel as though this person is ready to come forward as well. Yes, they are. I love it. Okay. Also, yeah, so let me go ahead and pull some more time in for you because nine is all, also close to ten, which is close to a completion of cycle, all right? Boom. As I open the deck, this situation will improve in abundance. I love it. Yes. Um, and again, compromise what I tell you. Listen to this person. Stop talking. Again, what the spirit say. Shut your mouth and listen. So please make sure you're listening to this person. This person's coming back to compromise. All right, I'm here and pull this. So I am. All right, boom. And what did I tell you about manifestation? Manifestation is thinking, doing, and putting the work in. And we have if you believe. So guys, please remain positive and keep positive thoughts. Ooh. And one more, and we romance. Oh my God! And we have success. If you believe on the bottom of deck, and no need to worry again. All right, guys, I love it, I love it, I love it. So Divine Feminine, this is dope. We are in year six. This is the year of love. So all your love, relationships, soulmates, twin flame, all that stuff um, is coming to surface. So, yes, this is definitely giving me a lot of just twin flame energy, and I freaking love it. All right, and I just want to send a shout-out to all my light workers, shamans, star seeds. Uh, Mystic Killers, all you guys that watch the channel, I pick up on your energy a lot. I, it's an honor for you guys to be here, and I appreciate your energy. All right, guys, if I resonated with you in any type, kind of way, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, guys. Don't forget to hit also you can get all the content that is released. I don't want you to miss anything, guys, all right? Also, um, that's another way to make an energetic donation, to put your energy on the channel so I can pull more messages for you guys. I love you all. I hope everyone is safe and I will catch you next time. I shame.